part four is now the um, inductive definition question. So it's given us an inductive formula here, um, and it says to use a starting value of two. So straight away, I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to press two and equals, and then I'm going to type in one plus. So this inductive function here, one plus because of um, my answer over three. I've used my answer button so that I can keep pressing equals. It's got my previous answer of two already stored. So when I press equals, it's just going to straight away give me x2, which is coming out at 1.78, how many decimal, two decimal places, so 1.786. I can press equals again, and it's going to take this 1.786 and put it in there for me. And all I need to do is press equal. So we've got one point this time, 1.828. X4. 1.820. X5. 1.822. So it's looking like it's going to just be 1.82 something, but rounding down to 2. Yeah, I'll just do one more. 1.821 again, yeah. So that was x4, x5, x6, x7. So x to two decimal places is 1.82. It also asks us to sh explain why alpha, this alpha that we found, um, is a root to this equation and the reason it's a root to this equation is because if we re rearrange this we will get to this so since 3 cos of x minus 1 equals x is the same as so how have they done that um, so let's divide by 3 And then if we cos both sides, that's going to undo this inverse cos. So we'll then get x take 1 equals the cos of x over 3. And if we then add 1 on, we get what they had. 1.82. 